Why is ageing associated with a decline in physiological function? When you get older, all your tissues are degenerating slightly. You're stuck with, very often, the cells you've got, especially in your immune system, all your life. There's very little capacity for cells to renew themselves as you get older. And so you have a lot of older cells that are having to do their function. And some of these older cells don't function as well as they used to when they were younger. Is there an increased risk of disease with ageing? And if so, why might this be? The risk of many different diseases, mainly because tissues don't work as well as they used to. The cells that make up the tissues are not communicating with each other as well as they used to. And the function of those cells has gone down with age. Specifically looking at the immune system, um, how does ageing affect that? When you have a, a specialised kind of white cell called your T cell, those cells are actually produced in, in an organ called the thymus. And that organ, unfortunately, stops functioning by the time you reach puberty, which means you've got very new input of cells later on in life. And the cells that you have got are, are the ones that you have to use for the rest of your life after puberty to take care of you. These cells have to divide a lot as you get older. And by dividing a lot, they become very prone to being lost because there's, there's a finite capacity to how much these cells can divide. And when they reach an end point where they can't divide anymore, that's where possibly the problems start. Are there any particular types of disease um, that this ageing of the immune system makes you more susceptible to? Older people are very susceptible to a wide range of infectious diseases. They're susceptible to TB, reactivation if you had it when you were younger. They're susceptible to shingles, which is actually a chickenpox virus that becomes reactivated when you get older. The very fact that you were actually immune to chickenpox after you first get it when you're young and protected for 40, 50, 60 years before you get it again means your immune system which is actually very efficient. But then something goes wrong at the end and that's why you get shingles because your immune system has lost the capacity to combat that virus. Is there any effect of the immune system and ageing on brain function looking at particularly sort of cases of dementia or Alzheimer's disease? That's a very interesting hypothesis and there's only very early data coming out at the moment. There are white cells in the brain, and what we don't know at the moment is whether these white cells are doing something useful or something detrimental. When you have diseases like Alzheimer's, you have a build-up of all kinds of, of um, debris, and the white cells may be there trying to clear the debris. So the question is, is it the white cell causing the problem, or is the debris causing the problem? Because the problem right now is that if you get rid of the white cells and they're there doing a useful job, it might be even worse. And this is where the state of the art of immunology is with the brain right now. We know what's going on, we don't know what is the cause and what is the effect. So where do you think sort of research will be directed now in this field? One important thing that has come out recently is that inflammation happens a lot with older people, which is a double-edged sword. When you have your immune response, you need some inflammation to kickstart the response. But older people seem to have a lot of baseline inflammation going on all the time. And the problem is, if you've got this baseline inflammation, it might be preventing a good immune response from taking place. And what a lot of people are trying to do now is maybe to target the baseline inflammation by blocking this, by blocking this forest fire that's going on. Maybe you'd be able to then light a cigarette, which you can't do in a forest fire, because you consume all the oxygen, you consume all the resources there. So the big response is actually somehow negating the good response from happening. And the question is now, can you block this big response to let the important things from happen to happen?